Well, hello there. It's been quite a week. It's been quite a while since I've actually spoken on camera. I'm running a beard, I haven't had a shave. It's been very demanding, very exhausting. Just trying to deal with the thousand and one things that I have to deal with. And one of those things that I have to deal with is, of course, the UFO phenomena. And at the moment it feels like Captain Scarlet and the bloody Mr. Ons because we've got jets coming into the field nearby, going out again, coming into the field, practicing, going out again. And the jets that are coming in, I believe, are from the air, our Air Force. I understand the German Air Force is currently on exercise here with them. And the UFOs have appeared. Um, and this is what it's really about, really. The other morning a UFO appeared, which I'll show at the end of this clip. Um, appeared at 6.15 um, in the morning over Barwick Parade and um, isn't it great that you can come on camera and talk about UFOs and the fact that you have contact with them it's absolutely amazing actually don't wish you might get what you wish for because it's more of a curse than anything else so really what I'm trying to do here is just paint a picture for those who want to see a picture I'm sure you know who you are um, about all this. Um, recently there's been some um, very strange goings on, shall we say, involving the UFO phenomena. Um, I make no apology when I say that I've seen UFOs, and I make no apology when I say that uh, there are occupants uh, from other worlds that come and visit Earth from far away, from Andromeda Galaxy for example. You only need to ask uh, a few people in Sweden who were having contact with what's known as the Nordics, uh, blonde, blue-eyed people uh, who come from far away. Uh, long story there, but they uh, have often appeared uh, over my house. I know who they are uh, now and uh, saved me from illness. Last year, I think it was, when I had a fever um, and I was like taken away, abducted. Abducted might be the wrong word. I think taken on a journey with them. And after a few hours of waking up, I felt better. Now that's interesting, but it's complex. It's a very complex scenario that's being played out. I believe there's some monumental events going on uh, that appear to imply about where humanity is going in its future and all that kind of thing. And the other day, I just want to share some things that happened to me because another group has appeared on the scene. I actually think that they've been tracking me for ages. Um, I've never seen them before. Uh, I've seen the Nordics and I've seen quite a few others. Uh, but I've never seen these guys before. Now, this, these guys are white-skinned, blue eyes, unusual facial structure. They don't look human. Um, and they have appeared on scene. Uh, I think, actually, that they've been tracking me for many a year. We've had these little dot of light UFOs coming over the house and a little dialogue going on with what appeared to be a female, um, which was very interesting, a female ET. And, and I wasn't sure why she's here. I'm still not actually quite sure why, why she's here. But obviously they're following uh, a set structure. They have uh, these people in the UFOs, um, ETs, whatever you want to call them. They have their own judiciary. They have their own education system. They have their own air wing, for example, as they refer to. And uh, they are aware of Earth humans uh, when they come in. When they come in, as I filmed them, they've often said to me that they're very respectful of our airspace. They're very respectful of our, uh, for example, what's going on uh, around with air traffic and all that kind of thing. I've seen that quite often. Um, perhaps I'm waffling because I'm tired. I don't know. But what it is, it's very curious because when this person appeared, this um, female ET, uh, it was like being taken by the scruff of the neck. Uh, and having your whole life turned upside down by her. And it's very interesting because about, I would say, a month ago, I'm sat in the living room and the curtains literally moved. Now that in itself, um, in my line of work, could be two things I'm thinking. Could be the heat from the radiator. Could be something ghostly. But I believe it was actually them. Uh, and so what she did, she came into the room um, and the curtains moved. Now, they are akin to something, or, well, I don't actually know whether it's akin or whether they are. Um, you've heard probably about um, Edward Snowden and Tall Whites. You've probably heard about all that. Um, and you've probably heard about uh, Iran indicating that America is ruled by Tall Whites. Um, actually, 
it possibly goes a bit deeper than that. They're not, America isn't ruled by tall whites. Um, you need to look probably at the work of an agency called the Collins Elite and the, uh, what happened in the 1950s we would call the UFO Air War and something called Non-Human Entities or NHE. Human affairs actually are ruled esoterically and occultly driven, really, rather than one alien group kind of running the show. But this based on my 40 years uh, a veteran of dealing with the UFO phenomena. The situation as such is that currently, after 40 years of dealing with this, uh, and I thought I could deal with it, I'd be uh, lying if I said that now currently I am completely and utterly out of my depth with my own experiences. I am literally now out of my depth with the people who are coming in with these UFOs and coming out again. Uh, and they're not happy. They're not happy with something. Something has uh, pissed them off. They're not happy and they're there. And thank, maybe thank God they are because I do believe, if I was bold to suggest, that the interaction going on with these UFOs indicates to me that they're wanting to establish channels of communication uh, with, for example, our Air Force or our government. They are wanting to establish diplomatic communication. Uh, and that in itself is very sacred. Very sacred indeed that, that they're wanting to do all this. That's the impression I am getting. There are people out there a lot smarter than me who could maybe work that out as well. Uh, but it's interesting the technology that's uh, that's available. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to uh, lay down what goes on and what has gone on. And this is the thing, is that the uh, their UFO, uh, at the height of some very strange goings on, where I'm known as a TI, I'm known as a targeted individual, and I'm tired, I'm fatigued, just, just general tiredness which means I'm maybe not explaining myself clearly, but basically there's a phenomenon known as a targeted individual where you can get targeted by high-tech mind control. But it was like um, liaison with this um, new kids on the block, this alien woman, was similar to being dragged by the scruff of the neck. It was like being lifted by the scruff of the neck and, and literally kind of um, making sure that I was, was alright. And uh, what's recently happened is the um, the room, the living room around me, has been a sudden, as, as if you're looking at the matrix, where suddenly there's been a distortion in the fabric of reality. And this happened the other day. This happened the other day. And I'm out of my depth with it, but I'm not sure why. When that happens, you've just got to step back, do nothing, go with the flow. What happened the other day was very interesting, because I was sat here. Um, it was about half eleven. And I am sat here having a cup of tea. I didn't have a shirt on. I'm just sat lozzy, loafing around. It's been a busy morning. Um, I look after. I'm a carer, so I can be up all hours. Um, sat here. All of a sudden, uh, to my right, distortion like something out of the Matrix. And I thought that's strange. And then I literally kind of like heard this. Um, how can I put it? You heard this thing in the room say to you, um, may I touch you? And then you literally felt, uh, I literally felt her finger running up the side of my chest. Uh, and it was freaky. It really was freaky. And then during the morning, about 0300 again, uh, over the house, and this time she's got, whoever she is, has got more front than Mount Everest, making it quite obvious that they were here, what they looked like, the pointed face, the blue eyes. And it was um, shocking, frankly, shocking, but they're here. Um, and as I say, the closest match you can get is uh, tall whites, the tall whites. It's a very close match, but I don't know. So what we'll do is, well, this is very early stages, we'll probably um, go for further information. They've been tracking me for a number of years. Um, and coming next is the clip of the UFO that flew over. They often do fly over. It was taken at 6.15 in the morning. Uh, and it's one of their UFOs uh, that is um, that came over me, uh, that actually flew over me. They're often here. For reasons that I don't understand, because in, when you're a contact experiencer, it can be very uncharted waters. There's a lot of vagary. Nobody fully explains themselves. Nobody at all fully explains themselves as to what they're doing and why they're doing it. But this, 
This liaison seems to be um, continuing with her. Uh, I've no idea who they are. There's so much to say that I really just can't say at the moment, other than to say that the affairs of mankind, uh, nuclear conflict, and all that kind of thing is something that we will strive to avoid, all nations will strive to avoid. And I also think as well in terms of disclosure, you'll read on the internet something going on where there's a, there's a poster by a very well-known guy, I think he's called Corey Goob, David Wilcox, I've not read, actually not read that research. There's a poster that says uh, something like, um, Nordic ETs work with religious leaders for disclosure. Doesn't work like that in real life. Disclosure and liaison with extraterrestrials, whether they be Nordic or from another uh, extraterrestrial civilization, how they do it and how it's written on the internet to entirely different things altogether. They do things across a time continuum, they do things in dreamscape. You won't see them turning up on the doorstep of the White House or number 10, you would, it doesn't work in that way. They're a lot more smarter than that. You will in fact see them hardly play their hand at all, but they're there. And so it's a culmination of uh, 40 years, over 40 years of veteran dealing with the UFO phenomena, dealing with these strange bloody experiences, to now think, good God, you're out of your depth with it. You, you just can't go any further with it. In fact, the only people that can now take you further with it are the people in the UFOs who keep coming over the house. And we seem to have a unique information channel into them, uh, and they're very careful about what they say. And I think that's a good thing, actually. And so we've just got to keep on trucking. Uh, create the landscape, paint the picture, find out what's going on. Uh, and just keep on trucking with it. That's, uh, that's all you can do. Um, I'm hoping that we can next year get a major TV docky off the ground about all this. Uh, something good. Something of a high standard. I'm, I'm hoping that might happen. I'm hoping to write a book. Uh, but the, um, the strange goings on follow me. And so when I go to sleep tonight, um, I don't know what the hell's going to happen next. Uh, there could be a scenario where they might ask me to go outside and film them. That is very possible, because I normally know when they're coming over the house. So there's a possibility that I could be woken up and asked to go outside with the camera and film them. Uh, this is what is going on. I've no interest in making this up. You couldn't bloody make it up. Uh, I'm giving reporting as if I'm like working for CNN, reporting on what's going on, on the front line of what appears to be monumental, a monumental carry-on that's being kept quiet about, involving UFOs, uh, the UK, and perhaps America, I don't, I don't know, but it appears to be that that is, that is what's going on. It's certainly true to say that the uh, I had a call from, as I said on a previous YouTube uh, clip, uh, a guy from who claimed to work for German defense intelligence or claimed to be part of the security of the constitution and in view of what's going on uh, that would make a lot of sense actually it would make a lot of sense that he was freaked out it would make a lot of sense bearing in mind that they had the Gulf Breeze 6 uh, the Gulf 6 I think it is Gulf 6 um, who, who left Germany absent without leave uh, because of predictions they were seeing or UFO contact that was going on. Um, it seems to just all make sense as to how the game is being played out. But yet, by a strange logic, um, it seems currently not to make any sense. It seems that it's important that I don't know too much about what is going on. Uh, but the liaison continues uh, with ET. And the illusion continues now with this female, who I think has been tracking me for a number of years. I have my suspicions as to who she is and where she fits in. Um, but more front than Mount Everest, this lady, she's... Uh, I've never seen anything quite like it. It's, in fact, I'm quite shocked and, as I say again, completely out of my depth. But I'll keep reporting these little things to camera, just to keep it all rolling. No investment in lying, no investment in making it all up. A small percentage thinks, is somebody testing artificial reality there? Is somebody testing some uh, highfalutin technology? And then the major percentage of me thinks this is part of a UFO contact scenario that's going on that may not also just evolve solely around me. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the clip 
of the UFO that I took on uh, on Monday morning, uh, which has been analysed. And I'll come back on camera and give some more information at a later date. Over and out. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Wow, that is a nice shot. That's uh, that's a very nice shot. UFO just uh, coming in. Wow. Through the cloud she goes. Wow. Oh. Ah. Now oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hasn't come out the cloud. In fact, it's vanished. Now ain't that interesting. Oh, reappearance through the cloud now. That's actually quite a nice uh, shot. If you just look at the background clouds, you will see it now just trying to like move above the clouds there. That's a nice piece of footage. But we're always searching for that kind of definitive close encounters type look, is what I'm after. She's moving slowly now. She's going to... Uh, Tell you what, this film does take a nice, uh, a nice film. Here she comes, through cloud. Trying to work out what she's doing.